WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. Looks like a sea of red when we take a look at Stevie's screen out here. You've got the Dow off 317, a little less than 1%. The same for the S&P, which is 41 points, 8 tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 127 points there, 1% for the Russell, 18 points, a little over 1% for the semis, 41 point move to the downside. Gold's off two bucks. Silver is up one penny. Light three crude is up off a buck 64. Natural gas down 13. 15 cents. 30-year Treasury printed out at 120.16. That is off five ticks. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left-hand side. What do we know about it? Well, today we'll complete a TD nine count bottom pattern. That says the low of the day or the low of two days ago. Right now it's low of two days ago will be our key threshold level. That's currently a 44.59, but it's going to be the low of the day. We also have a new profile that is formed, a price is testing that bullish structured area. That's between 44.69 and 44.99. We closed back about 44.69 today. We should see a rally. That rally should take us up to 45.50. Of course, we better for the rally if the spot volatilities were back below its 50-day exponents moving average. We've been below it for the last two sessions at the close. Today, we're still above it. The level to be watching today is 15.03. The NQ will complete a TD9 count bottom today. Looks like yesterday's low may be that threshold level. It, too, has a new profile. Price should make its move up to the 15.551 level. The U.S. dollar index, it doesn't have a topping pattern. But in this case here, it doesn't really matter because it's the underlying instrument. So during the Trader's Ed show, that's what we're going to go take a look at to see if we've got some type of turn here in the U.S. dollar index. Goldilocks, it completed its TD9 call bottom pattern yesterday. That low was tested. That's 1934.20. We're back above it. Uh, this We should see a rally into its oscillator and change. I don't have us that on the screen out here. The same with silver, which completed its TD9 call bottom. Remains in effect as long as price continues to close above 2241. We should see a rally in both. Light speed crude, which formed a road momentum indicator top a couple days ago right now, is testing profile support at 81.17. We're trading at 80.81. A close below 80.17 will suggest lower price. Natural gas, it just cannot get out of its own way out there. It is back inside a new daily profile and likely going to go target that bullish structured area. And that's between 251 and 256. Now, 30 year Treasury tested and rejected its buy the D point pattern. And it's back inside his profile. We're likely to see a rally up to its most recent highs out there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care. Now.